what's going on guys welcome back to another scooter video I know we don't all have the desire or the time to go out and learn backflips or buttercups to impress all of our friends and sometimes all we have is a driveway or one short session at the skate park to get better but I understand you want to learn some cool things right now without putting in years of practice and without running the risk of hurting yourself so today we're gonna cover five easy tricks to impress your friends that you can learn right now today even if you're just starting out let's get into it Growing up, I used to watch scooter videos on repeat. I remember watching them thinking to myself, how on earth do these guys get to this level of riding? Or how do they even make it look so effortless? Now, fast forward 12 years later, and I can do most of the tricks that I used to watch and dream about landing. I've come to realize that one of the best things about watching scooter videos was seeing the tricks that were even possible on a scooter, and then going outside and trying them for myself the next day I went to the park. But sadly, it's taken me a long time to get to where I am today. I wish there was videos like the one we're about to dive into that would have helped save me from looking like an absolute amateur when I roll up to the park for the first few times. For today's lesson, we're covering 5 easy tricks that'll keep you from looking like a noob. I'm about to let you in on some secret tips and techniques that'll help you look more experienced than you actually are. So without any more hesitation, let's jump into things. The first trick on our list is a can plan. This might just be the easiest trick in the book, but it looks way more complicated than it actually is, which is the beauty of why this trick is on this list. Can plants are pretty much a fancy foot plant, but with a pinch of extra flair. The easiest way to master this trick before you even go to the skate park is just to stand on the flat ground and practice hopping onto your front foot. It might feel goofy at first, but after a few tries, you can start to add your own style into this trick. Now there's a couple key points that I want to list before you take cam plants to the park. For starters, make sure you're using your front foot. If you're using your back foot, you're doing just a regular foot plant. Now don't get me wrong, foot plants are cool, but can plants are just something different that most people don't see every day. So you're going to add that little wow factor when all your friends are around. Now another key point I want to make is you can just practice this trick on the flat ground. You literally don't even have to go to the skate park to practice this trick. Also, you want to lean forward and add your own steez into this trick. The more lean forward you can get, the more corked it looks, the better. I have a full in-depth tutorial that deep dives into every aspect of can plants. If you guys want to see that video, tap that video in the upper right hand corner. But now let's move on to trick number two. The second trick on our list is pumping and flowing. Now this is less of a trick and more of a skill, but learning to flow the right way can instantly make you look like a pro. Have you ever seen a pro at the skate park going Mach 10 through the bowls? It's probably because they learned how to pump and flow when they first started riding. Now lucky for you, I've made an entire tutorial on how to pump and flow that's also available up there in the upper right hand corner. But for now, let's just focus on a couple key points. Working on timing. Timing is everything when it comes to pushing and pumping through the ramp for speed. Build up your leg strength. This is something you can do at home. You can literally do this with weights or you can just jump up a bunch of things and just really work on getting that explosive energy into your legs. Now that you got your legs built up, you wanna work on maintaining your speed by using as much transition as you can. This is super important because if you can use all of the transition that's available to you, you're gonna be able to maximize your speed while you're pumping through the ramp. You can tell a lot about someone's skill just by watching how fast and smooth they flow. And the best part about this is, you don't even have to send a trick to make someone go wow. You can just be going super fast and have all the eyes on you. But just make sure the bowl is clear before you drop in so you don't snake someone or take someone out. Now let's move on to the third trick on this list, and that is fakies. Learning how to properly fakie may be one trick on this list that'll take more than just one day to master. But just simply learning how to roll backwards to get yourself out of 180s is very helpful, not only to impress your friends, but also to help you get out of some sticky situations. I don't know about you, but I'd personally rather know how to do something and not have to do it than not know how to do something and have to do it. Fakies make this top five scooter trick list because they really aren't that hard. The hardest part is just learning how to add length into your fakie. But don't worry about that for now. This video is just to get you rolling and to have a good time with your friends at the skate park. But if you do want to take fakies to the next level and dive down that backwards rabbit hole, I know just the guy that can lead you the way. Video in the upper right hand corner. 
but for now, let's just focus on a few key points. For starters, it's okay to hop when you're going backwards. You'll eventually work these hops out. Also, make sure you stay loose. Being able to stay loose while going backwards is probably the most important part. If you're all stiff and rigid, this trick is gonna be a lot harder and just take a lot longer to learn. Let's move on to the fourth trick now. The fourth trick on our list is the simple feeble grind. Feeble grinds can be literally added into every trick combo, which is why feebles make our top five list. Picture this, it's your first time at a new skate park, or heck, maybe it's your first time ever going to a skate park, and the first thing you see is a grind box. Wouldn't it be a huge confident boost if you could roll up and just hop onto the ledge and grind it first tee like a pro? Nothing looks more impressive than landing a trick first try like it was nothing. Now one of the best parts about feebles is you can literally practice this trick anywhere. Literally anywhere. Find a curb, find a step, find a gosh darn 2x4. You can practice feebles on just about anything taller than your wheel. Now let's talk about a few key steps to note while you're doing feebles. For starters, you gotta lean forward. This makes it so much less likely that your back end is going to kick out and make you stop grinding. Up next, it may sound like a no brainer, but you gotta steer with your bars. That's the only way you'll be able to lock into those long grinds like the pros do. Plus, you'll get a brag about how long your grind is. If that doesn't impress the girls at the skate park, I don't know what will. Now, if you guys wanna take your feeble grinds to the next level, I have a full in-depth tutorial that you guys can see just by clicking that video in the upper right-hand corner. But now that we got feebles out of the way, that brings us on to the fifth and final trick. I'm about to show you guys a trick that'll turn heads and make people wonder, how the heck did he do that? You guys are probably thinking it's something super cool or super hard, like a backflip or a flare, but you'd be wrong. This head scratcher is called a foot plant back scoot. The foot plant back scoot looks crazy and is actually incredibly easy. And it adds the bonus points of making you look like an expert without actually having to do anything hard. Usually the pros are the only ones that know how to control their scoot and make it look super smooth. But by doing this trick, you're going to instantly look like a pro without actually having to try that hard. This trick might just be the easiest, hard looking trick in the book, mainly because there are a few moving parts that'll catch your friends by surprise. For starters, you're going to want to practice hopping off your scoot with one foot and hopping back on quickly. The quicker the better. Now really exaggerate that back scoot. The weirder and more corked you can get it, the better. Then all you gotta do is just hop back on your scooter when it comes back around and watch as all your friends scratch their head out of curiosity. Now would you look at that, we've done it. We've busted through all five tricks on my list. So let's go over these one more time to recap. We got the can plants, pumping and flowing, fakies, feebles, and the mind blowing foot plant back scoot. Learn all five of these tricks and you'll be sure to look like an advanced rider, even if you're just a beginner. Now, this seems like a perfect time to add a disclaimer. Some kids think that you have to ride a thousand dollar scooter to fit in. Now that's just nonsense. You don't have to have the most expensive scooter to look like a pro. You can totally have a good time on any scooter, that is as long as it's rideable. But I will add, if your current scooter is super janky and undialed, it might be worth upgrading some parts or your entire scooter, as this can help progress your skills faster and make it easier to learn new tricks, which can definitely be correlated to having more fun. I personally ride a complete Rapture Pro scooter. Rapture is a scooter company that I created back in 2017 to make super high quality, lightweight, and affordable parts for all riders. If you're looking for any new parts, or maybe just want to upgrade your entire scooter, I will have every single part that I personally ride on my own scooter linked below so you can check them out and take your scootering career to the next level. But let me leave you guys with one last secret. The key to all of these tricks is learning to add your own style. Finding your own unique style is by far the funnest part of riding because no one can tell you how to do style. It's literally what makes the tricks your own. Someone could do the exact same trick as you, but take out the style and it'll look 10 times worse every time. Style is what makes our sport so unique and exciting. So get out there and find your own style. But that right there is my top five easy scooter tricks that you guys can use to impress your friends or maybe get that cute girl at the skate park to notice you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have made it this far, do me a favor and smash that like button and punch that subscribe button because there are plenty of more videos like this on their way. Also, while you're down there, do me a favor and comment an easy trick that you think should be on this list. If there are enough comments, I'll make another video just like this one and give you guys a shout out if I use your comment. But let's wrap it up here. My name is Chase Rost and if you guys are new to my channel, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.